Hey, what's going on, everybody? You've probably been wondering where I'm at. Uh, it's been a rough few weeks. I'm not even going to try to hide that. Uh, I'm really, really, really messed up my back doing all the workouts and stuff. And then for like over a week, I could not physically sit up. So I was on muscle relaxers and you know, all of that until I could finally sit up. And now I'm just slowly in the process of healing my lower back where I messed it up working out. And then some, you know, honestly, terrible news came family wise. And I've just been trying to process and deal with that. I, it's one of those things where I, I don't want to talk about it much, but you know, you, you're really upset by the news, but you don't feel like you have any right to complain or, you know, be sad or anything because it's not actually happening to you. It's just happening to someone that you care about. And that's a tough situation. And I've been trying to process all of that, but, uh, in the middle of, you know, processing all of that and doing just the loads of work that I currently have. I mean, I am just swamped, which is an absolute blessing, but it's been tough to focus on the last couple of weeks because of like everything else. But that is to say in the very small amount of any free time I've had, I was one lucky enough to be able to purchase this Land Rover Defender classic Lego but also find some time to put it together. And the reason I was so excited to do this is because one of my favorite projects I've ever done was like two or three years ago now when Lego came out with the Technics version of the new Defender. I, I got it, it's up in the corner over there on display, but I got it and I did this awesome photo shoot with it and the results were so good and everyone loved it so much and I was so excited about it. When I saw that Lego was coming out with this bad boy, I just absolutely had to do it again. So I put it together and we're going to go out and shoot some photos today and uh, kind of redo that project, but with this Defender because that was just so much fun and I want to I do that again. So join me on that and I'll show you a little bit of like how I get all the photos and edit them together and everything and do all of that. And hopefully you'll enjoy it because... I just need something to do to kind of clear my mind and, you know, keep me from focusing on the stuff that's going on in life and focus on something else. So come join me with that distraction, all right? Now that we've got some shots going, we're obviously moving location to location in here. And this is exactly why I brought my Wellingtons. Because the easiest way to walk through all of this is just in the stream itself. But a lot goes into doing all this, not just shooting, of course. You have to think about your shot and your composition. And with something like this, you also have to think about scale. And obviously the reason scale is so important is because you want it to feel like it's the real size thing when you're shooting photos like this. You don't want it to feel like a toy. So you'll see me in the 360 video. I spend a lot of time pulling out leaves and everything 
that aren't to the scale I need. And that also be, goes beyond just picking out things in the scene, but picking the locations for your shot. Like I would much rather shoot that awesome waterfall way down there, but all the rocks there are gigantic. So to have that in the background of the image just isn't gonna work because it's not gonna look like it's the right scale. So I came down here where we've got smaller rocks and we can do it that way. All right, that was a long process. And since it's like 83 degrees out here, I am a sweaty mess. But I think I got everything I needed and I think it all turned out well. And now we just need to get back to the office and edit everything. All right. We got this stowed for safekeeping. I will say the one thing that's been a challenge getting down here, not just the fact that we're in a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, is the fact that the, uh, the Lego itself is very fragile for a Lego. I've had to be very, very gentle with it. It, uh, it comes apart uh, pretty easily. And I think that's because of all the customization stuff on it. Like the, uh, the roof rack and all that stuff, but all those little bits and bobs, they tend to come off, which I'm not used to with a Lego. So I had to be very gentle with it. And I still lost a couple of pieces on the way here. I think they're in my car because the a little bit of it fell off there. But I like to come down here in this golf cart because this is a waterfall that's near my parents' house. But anytime I come down here in the Jeep, other people that live around always come down here and ask me questions like, what I'm doing here, where do I belong? And that's kind of annoying. So uh, today I was like, hey, I'm gonna come down here in the golf cart and see if no one will ask me questions. And for the first time in like 15 years, I didn't get questioned for being down here, which was great. Oh man, it's so stinking hot, holy cow. But this is such a nice little drive. I love being able to do it. What I need is a nice breeze. Oh, oh, there comes one. There comes one. I need to pick up some speed. All right, well, we got everything done, thankfully. That's always so much fun to do because it really like forces the side of creativity that you don't get to do a lot. And it it just, I don't know, it's so fun. And like the, the product is so whimsical when you're done, but yet really, really cool and engaging. And so it's just one of those things where like the whole process of making it you feel really good and honestly that's why it's such a good time for me to do this because I really needed that sort of distraction where I could just focus on creativity and happy stuff and things that I enjoy and this is uh, definitely helped with that and I, I'm gonna go you know back now and get everything edited I don't know when I do process stuff People are always very interested when I'm answering questions about camera stuff and like Photoshop and After Effects and all that kind of stuff. But then when I can't answer the questions in a minute or less, people don't really seem to pay attention. So I don't know if I'll bother showing the process. What I might do is just do it this time. And if you want to know, leave a message in the comments and tell me that you want to see all of it. And then I'll make that part of the video and share it with you guys because like I said yeah I, I don't want to sit there and record everything that I'm doing on the screen while I'm trying to work and talk about it if you know you're not gonna pay attention or don't want it so just just let me know um, I think I'll like I said I'll skip it this time and then we will try to do a thing next time if you guys want. If not, 
that's cool. Like it's not gonna bother me any, so no worries. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed all of this. Even if you didn't enjoy watching it, I had a blast creating everything. But you know, I share this with all of you to entertain you and hopefully educate you in some way. And I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you if you did like this video, please like it and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, and as always, I hope to see you out there. Bye.